This video is going to show you how to create your own PayPal payment buttons and how to add your download link to that. Also, it will show you how to customize your image. Now, the first thing you're going to need, of course, is a PayPal account. And you need either a business or a premier account. Once you've signed in, go to Merchant Services and then roll down the side here and you see the different kinds of buttons you can make. We're going to just concentrate on Buy Now button, so click on the Buy Now button. You get a screen that you fill out. So your item name, this is the description of your item. You can give it an item number, that's optional. Just key it in there. The price you're going to charge and the currency, and you can pick any of these currencies that they give you the choice of in here. Buyer's default country. This just sets the default of what PayPal thinks the buyers are coming from, the country they're coming from. Usually you might want to set that to the United States because that's probably where most of the buyers come from. But it is an optional field and you can just set it however you want. All it does really is it sets the parameters on the page and they would have to change a country if they're not from the country you chose there. You can have an optional weight here if your product is a physical product. Now here you can choose one of PayPal's predefined buttons. You can either use the default button or you can click on the link and you can pick any other buttons here if you want to change it. When it goes back, you'll see that it has a new button in here. Now here you can place a URL to a custom image if you already have one uploaded on your site. If you're going to do that, you just check this button here and you place the URL inside there. Button encryption. This is so somebody can't view the source of your website and find your download link. So you should have it encrypted. If you're not sending them to a download page, it doesn't matter whether you have it encrypted or not. Shipping options. You can set up in your profile a shipping table and tell them how much shipping will be in there or you can use a flat rate amount if you're going to ship it and you just check this and you put how much it is here if you don't put anything in there in your table in your profile then no shipping will be charged and then your sales tax options you have the same thing here in your profile you can set up how you're going to shoot how you're going to charge sales tax or you can put a flat rate amount in here. Now at this point you can either create the button or add more options. If you're going to send them to a download page you're going to want to add more options. Now you can set up different page styles. And we'll go over that in a minute. But if you just leave it as default, it'll just use PayPal's colors on there and you'll use the standard PayPal page. Now here, this is where you would put your download link to your product if you were sending them to a URL after you were done. So you'd already have to know that in advance. If they cancel their payment, you'd want to probably send them to your back to your home page, or you can send them anywhere else you want. Doesn't matter. I usually just send them back to the home page. So you can put that in there. 
This is where you set up your shipping preferences. This, of course, is for physical products. And the first one, if you wanted them to be allowed to purchase more than one, you'd set this to yes. Otherwise, it won't let them change the quantity field, and it will remain as one. Here you can set whether you want to make shipping optional or have required shipping or no shipping needed. So on a digital product, you can just set that to no shipping needed. You can give them special instructions here. And you just set that to yes if you want to use it. And you put the title in here. And here you put the address to receive payment notifications. And PayPal will send you an email every time somebody sends a payment. At this point, we're done. So we just click the Create button now. And you get an encrypted HTML code for your websites here. And all you have to do is click Select All and then copy it. And usually what I do at this point is I open Notepad and I paste it in here so that I have the code handy. That way I can leave PayPal and have my, my button all ready to go. Here you'll see this begin PKCS7. This is the encryption. And this is what people will see when they view the source in your page. And that doesn't tell them anything as to where your download page might be. At this point, you can go ahead and create another button. If you were going to create a button for a special offer, for instance, for the same product, you might want to create the same button again, but with a different price on it. So you could just go back, create another button. At this point, you could create a whole new button if you wanted, or if you were creating just another copy of this button with a different price, you could just do that. Go to Add More Options. And this will all have been kept for you. And then just Create Button Now, and it will create another button. Now let's go into our profile and go over a couple of those things we talked about before. We talked about uh, how we're charging sales tax. So you just go into your profile and you go into the sales tax section. And here you can set how you're going to set up your domestic sales tax if you're going to charge sales tax. And then if you have international sales tax, you set it here. Shipping preferences and calculations. First we're going to calculations. And this is where you can set up a table, either a flat amount or a percentage of sales, and then your currency here. Then down here you set up your table. Shipping preferences. This is just where your shipping information is. And you can put your UPS account information in here as well. And your default carrier. And if you want to have a return link to show to your buyers, you'd place that here. And then display a ship button. You can do that here and then choose which one you want. Save those options. Of course, this is not even relevant if you're shipping digital products. Down here we have custom payment pages. This is what I was talking about earlier. So you can, this is the PayPal primary one. You can actually create a new page just by clicking add. You give it a style name. If you have a header image you want to use, you place that here. Now this comes in handy because some people don't know that after they pay they need to click the return to merchant button. So you could create a little header that says be sure to click the return to merchant button after to get your digital product. You could make a little header that says that 
and put a link here to that so that every time somebody pays, they will see that. Your header background color. Basically, it's just like customizing an HTML page. And these are standard hex code colors they can get off any color chart. So you just set all your colors here and you save your page. That will then be available on the drop down list in your payment when you create your payment buttons. The last thing we'll do is we'll customize the image on the button we just cr we just created. Now presumably what you would do now is you would place your button on an HTML page and you would have you would have your page in a folder that you would upload to the internet. In there you might want to actually also put a payment button image if you wanted to have your own image you could put it in the same folder and then you could just change it in here so let's do a quick example of that first we're going to just save this as an html file and we'll call it example dot html And now we'll go ahead and save this. And you'll see that it's now been named example. So if I were to click on this now, you see that we have our payment button here. And that's all we have on this particular HTML page. And if we click on this button, you'll see that it brings it up with our company name my product one which is the description we gave it and seventeen dollars us which was the price we gave it then people can proceed either by paying by credit card or by si signing into paypal and then if we view the page source view page source you'll see that we have our encrypted button here and that's all that's on there now if we wanted to change the image we would put this into its own folder and put the image in there as well. Or if you were uploading your site to the root directory of your hosting account, you would also load the picture into the root directory. Or you could load the picture into any other directory and link to it in the URL. But it's easy just to keep them together. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I've created a new folder just called test here. And inside there I've copy the example HTML page we just made which in this case only has a button on it so as you can see our example HTML is in here so all we need to do is place the image in here as well so we'll go find an image to use all right so I found a button we're going to use and here's what it looks like here now all you have to do very simply is do you can open it with notepad to change it and all you have to do is go where it says image alt equals zero border equals zero source equals and make sure at the end of it don't change this one that says pixel.gif or your button won't work make sure you change the one that says something about button on it which is this line here so remove all of this highlight it all so right after it says image source equals inside the quotes highlight that and just put the name of your button in there in our case it was button to dot jpg I believe Let's verify that button to dot jpg Okay, so you see now it says image source button2.jpg, and that's all we need to change, so we'll save that. Now when we click on this, you'll see that it has replaced the button that PayPal gave us with our custom button. When we click on that, we go to the regular PayPal payment page. So that's it. That's how easy it is to create your own PayPal button.